Okay, so today we're going to be uh, talking a little bit about um, when a tenant business um, acquires a lease. So if you're a business and you're looking to take on a property, but um, you're struggling to find the right property that's vacant, uh, what you'll see a lot of the time is, um, you know, letting boards, that kind of thing on shops, offices or industrial units, uh, telling you that uh, the lease is for sale and what that means is you're basically going to be taking on the lease uh, assigning the lease to yourself uh, and all its liabilities but one thing I wanted just to cover today really is as part of the due diligence process which is is quite in depth and a, a little bit more laborious than if you were taking a fresh lease with a landlord directly um, is to check for something uh, called the rent review clause. So rent review clause, what do I mean by that? Um, basically midway through the lease, let's say you have a 10 year lease uh, that you're taking on from somebody else. Let's say you're taking it on in year seven of the lease, so you'll have let's say three years remaining. Um, there would have been typically a rent review due around year five. Um, what you need to be checking basically through your solicitor um, is that there needs to be uh, documentation for that rent review to make sure that at the time of the review or thereafter it was triggered, it was agreed um, and it was properly documented because if you don't have that piece of paper uh, before you sign on the dotted line to assign the lease in your name um, effectively you can take on the lease the landlord can then turn around as and approach you as the new assignee and say hello Mr Tenant um, we're going to trigger this rent review now uh, and uh, uplift your rent and backdate it and charge you interest uh, and you'd be amazed at how many times that happens um, so just please 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 remember um, to do that bit of due diligence, use your solicitor, use a surveyor if you can as well, and just make sure all those kind of things are covered off because that could be a really nasty surprise um, that comes back to bite you later. Hope you found that useful. Um, look forward to uh, discussing another subject with you soon.